a former Kalamazoo player, back there along with uh, Lenny Armuth, John McDermott, Carlos Salguero, and Neil Ridgway. The front three for the Pride and the Invaders. Don Tobin will be the midfielder on the forward line with Randy Pikasinski and Kia, the forwards. And the defenders will be Tom Kondrich and Oscar Pisano. Pisano, as his custom, will be the last player off the bench for the Invaders at the start of the game. Toledo will attack from our right to our left as we look at it from the South Press Box tonight at the Civic Center. Welcome to the Baker family up here joining us in the booth uh, through the uh, Angel Auction from last year from Altman Hospital. We appreciate them coming up and showing the interest. Swanner will be in the net to our left. That is the stage end of the Civic Center. And it's John Stahl in goal to our right. 
as we get ready to get things going. Pisano off the bench for the Invaders in the home gray. Black shorts, black numerals, red and black trim. Toledo in blue top to bottom with white numerals and white trim. Salguero and uh, Ridgeway in the midfield circle, and Salguero drops it back midfield. It's uh, sent forward by Armuth, and nobody down there in the Invader end for Toledo. Condridge lets it go in the goal box. Swanner outlet on the right side to Tomo. Now Toby left, and back in the box it comes to Jamie Swanner. Swanner will come out close to the red line. Nobody will mark him. Jamie will come out across the red line on the right side of the floor, and he sends it long left side for Randy Pikasinski. Randy back to the net on Armuth in the corner in the Toledo zone. Back out front midfield, it comes to Condridge. Tomo with a move around Salguero. Wines fires. That was deflected, and chasing it out is Stahl. Knocked it to Randy Pikasinski in the corner. Now Kia on the right side, looking for room outside. It comes Condridge. Ball knocked away by McDermott on the defensive play. Toby with a wall pass for Kia. That's deflected by Christensen. Salguero at midfield, but Pisano stepped in front of him, and the ball's dumped down in the invader zone. Oscar puts it up in the air and over the glass and out of play. He wanted to clear it into Swanner, but it got it up over the crossbar, and Jamie couldn't get it. It'll be a corner kick for Toledo from the right side. We played 54 seconds of period number one with no score here. Ridgeway will be the trigger man for the pride from the spot in the right corner. Salguero's out front by the red line. Christensen in short. Salguero with a shot high off the glass. Rebound followed by Armuth is wide and blocked by Condridge. Knocked back in by McDermott. Controls Swanner. Outlet right side midfield for Randy Pikasinski. And a dangerous play call will go against John McDermott of Toledo. That's the first foul on either club. With 13.55 to go in the first period, Pisano midfield. Kia posted up out in front of the Toledo goal box. Ball dumps in off the boards and Stahl dives on it and controls. Invaders back up on D. Stahl still with it in the box. Now he'll put it down on the floor and come out with it. Stahl pretty well has uh, entrenched himself as the pride number one goalkeeper during this winning streak. And Cliff Brown has not been playing a whole lot. Salguero mishandled the ball at the red line. Here come the Invaders, four on three. Pisano clears on the right side. The ball is behind Tobin. Tobin in the corner against McDermott, looking for the feet out front. He's got Pisano on the point. Oscar back outside the red line, away from Dave Mazur into the game for Toledo. And back it up to Jamie Swanner. Mazur comes up to the Invader red line to confront Swanner to Condridge. Salguero had decent defensive position there, and Tomo had to chase it back. Tomo back edge of the midfield circle. On the right side, it comes to Pisano. Oscar working on Mazer back to Swanner. Salguero out on him. Jamie left side midfield for Art Kramer. First game he's played in a while with an injury. And the push foul will go against uh, Toledo. And that goes against Jimmy Mc... Now they call it the other way on Kramer. And Toledo put it in play and went the other direction. So Kramer gets the push, and the team files are even at one apiece. Toledo player coach Mike Garrett out there, along with Dave Mazer. Salguero, and he trots back in the bench on the line change and will be replaced by Ted Powers. And they dump it in the invader bench out of play off the foot of Mazer, and Canton will control at midfield. Kramer, Celestin, and Rudy Pikasinski, the forward three for Canton. Schlotthauer and Mike Paxos on defense for Canton. Rudy in the corner, centering ball. Kramer with a shot, kick save, and a beauty by Stahl. The ball dumped out of the corner. And it's cleared out by Powers. Best scoring opportunity of the game is Art Kramer. And a point-blank shot on Stahl, and he was able to get the left foot on the ball. Here comes Powers. Out front, centering ball knocked away, and Paxos comes the other way for Canton. Ball was uh, mishandled by Dean Kelly. And it's controlled by Schlotthauer in the goal box for Canton. Walter out on Powers, backs it up inside the box for Swanner. 12-12 to play in the first period, no score. Outlet, red line, right side to Paxos. Clears it in the left at midfield to Schlotthauer. Thunderfoot on the run with Kelly. Down in the corner, the ball knocked away by Mazur. He stepped in front of Pikasinski. Kelly can't control at midfield as Kramer deflects back to Celestin. Magic man, left side of the circle. Sends it forward. Mazur dumps it back and coming the other way is Powers. Powers, invader, red line. Left side feed to Mazur. Paxos back on D. Out on the point, it comes to Garrett. Garrett, couple of steps in on Kramer. Middle of the floor, shot blocked by Arding into the corner. And uh, that's taken by Schlotthauer, and he dumps it out to midfield. Stall out of the net, waiting for it there from Toledo. Now Garrett at the pride red line. 11 and a half minutes to go in the first period. Powers back to the net in the invader zone. Paxo stepped in front. Powers centering ball for Kelly is wide, and Swanner clears it out of play. Toledo will kick it in from the left side. That's the best scoring opportunity Toledo has had so far. 
11.23 to go in the first period. Second quarter is our United Bank contest quarter tonight. And it will be the last one of the season because we're out of games to give tickets to. Very simply. We will have one in the second quarter tonight, though, if you'd sent your postcard in. You still got one more chance to have that pulled. Starting men that started the game back on the floor for both teams. The Salguero Ridgeway line for Toledo. Salguero taps it out. Randy knocks the ball away from McDermott. Kia clears to midfield. And it's all the way down in the Toledo end. Stahl dumps it out. Ridgeway left side at the midfield stripe. Salguero at the red line. Sweeps it on the left side for Ridgeway. Pisano back on D with him. Centering ball knocked away by Kondrich. And Kia clears it out to Randy Pikasinski on the run with Christensen. Randy's got one man to beat. He looks for the wall feed. It's too high. Comes outside to Donnie Tobin. And Tobin has to back it up at the red line to Kondrich. Tomo, left point area to Toby. Couple of steps in on McDermott. Cuts it down in the corner. Wall feet out front behind Kia. Knocked away by Armuth. Cleared out to the red line. Kondrich keeps it in for the invaders. They'll resume the offensive pressure. Right side feed to Pikasinski. Now Oscar, middle of the floor. Wants to feed on the left side to Toby. Toby lets it go. There's a good save by Stahl. And Christensen clears it out to midfield. Salguero and Pisano in the run there. Carlos got a head on it. But Oscar able to spin around and step inside. However, it hit him on the hand in the process. And that'll be the second foul on the invaders. And that was a good call. They got him up there on the arm, on the hand. No score, 10-27 to play in the first quarter. Two fouls on Canton, one on Toledo in the period. And the Pride will put it in play from the Invader red line. Christensen, right side. They give it back on the give-and-go feed off the foot of McDermott. And Christensen couldn't control, and Kondrich comes the other way for Canton off the outlet from Swanner. Ahead for Randy, Pikasinski on the run. In the corner with Christensen. Ridgeway to double team. Randy clears Tobin's shot blocked by Christensen. Pikasinski tried to split the two. Now Tobin out front, and the ball steered in by Christensen and covered up by John Stahl. Kia up to Hound. Him, and they'll back away as Stahl holds on. Now puts the ball on the floor and comes out through the goal arc with it. We played a little more than five minutes with no scoring here. McDermott, red line, left side for Toledo. Now out front midfield to Ridgeway. Back to McDermott, ahead Salguero at the Canton red line. He heels it in for an unmarked Christensen who fires, and Swanner just did get the left hand on that one to dump it in the corner. Jamie was a hot goalkeeper before last week, and he looks like he hasn't lost any of it so far. 9.32 to go in the first quarter. The ball's in the Toledo end. Stahl leaves it there for Armuth on the right side. Both teams are changing lines. Stahl with it in the goal box. He picks it up to take it away from Kramer. Outlet midfield, it comes to Powers. Powers down in the invader zone, working against the right sideboards. Condridge cuts inside, gets a deflection and clears it out. Mazur gets it back at midfield to Garrett, the player coach. Garrett around Rudy Pikasinski. Condridge knocks it back off the chest of Mazur at midfield. Down in the right corner, it goes for Kelly. Kelly working on Pisano. Oster got a piece of it, but Kelly chases it back outside the arc. Red line, left side, it comes to Garrett. Garrett moves in on Rudy. He winds, he fires. That hit somebody in the heel out there. I think it was Mazur that it actually hit for Toledo. And it ends up back in the pride end. Lee ball out past Mazur. Powers dumps it down on the right side for Mazur. Swanner out of the net to clear it away. And Condridge trying to get around Powers. Gets it ahead over the head of Pikasinski. They chase it down at the red line. Rudy dumps it around the boards for Kramer. But McGeo is there for Toledo, the former Columbus Capital player. Up the right side for a former Kalamazoo kangaroo, Ted Powers, shot blocked by Pisano. Rudy will dump it over on the left side for Kondrich and clears it out midfield. It comes to Oscar. Pisano, right side at the midfield line, 8.14 to go in the first quarter. Schlotthauer is out on D. He'll be joined by Mike Paxos and the Primo three up front. Kramer, Pikasinski, Rudy Pikasinski with Magic Celestin. Salguero right side at midfield for Toledo. Around Kramer, around Magic on the right side. Fires wide, rebound comes all the way out to the red line. Kelly's got it there for Toledo. Kelly, couple of steps in, down in the corner. Mazur with a centering ball for Salguero that's knocked away by Paxos. They chase it down in the corner. Centers again for Salguero. That shot was up in the left corner and Swanner slapped it over the glass and out of play. Corner kick, or did they say that it did not touch Jamie Swanner? I think they are going to give him the corner kick. Yeah. No, they're going to give it a goal kick. PA said corner kick. Apparently, Jamie did not touch that ball. I think Toledo would like to know that, too. Uh, yeah, okay, they are going to give him the corner kick. That was what was signaled originally. 
And it will be a corner kick from the left side for Toledo. 7.45 to go in the first period. Still no score here at the Civic Center. You're with 1480 WHBC, Canton, Ohio, radio home of the Invaders. Outside it comes. Armuth with a shot blocked by Kramer, headed away by Celestin. Artie fights with Armuth up against the boards. Artie gets it ahead to Rudy. Rudy on the break up the right side. Has to get past Armuth. He finds Kramer over there. Artie winds, fires, and hits Armuth right in the back of the legs and comes back out to midfield. Armuth will get credit for a block on that, and he never knew the ball was coming. Paxos, Invader red line, right side at midfield, off the boards for Kramer. Taps it back at the Invader red line to Schlotthauer. Back edge of the midfield circle, Celestin. And now Schlotthauer working on Ridgeway. Ahead it comes Swanner. Long ball off the head of Paxos, taken by Pikasinski. He heads it over to Kramer on the right side. Artie with a move on one outside to Celestin. Celestin feeds, ball loose out front. Rudy outside, Kramer fires, hit the post on the left side. Had stall beat eight ways to Sunday, but the ball hit the post. Magic coming back inside the red line, moves around McDermott. Magic through the middle, he fires, and the deflection by Pikasinski is wide. The follow by Paxos is wide, and Kramer has it outside. Kramer looks, his shot is blocked by Armuth, and Paxos chases it down, dumps it off the boards to midfield for Walt Schlotthauer. 6.35 to go in the quarter, right side Celestin. Magic moves in, he feeds, there's a shot by Rudy, kick saving a dandy by John Stahl. They're dodging every bullet, and the Invaders have had some opportunities. Back at the other end, Swanner has the ball in the goal box. Quick outlet on the left side to Schottauer. John Stahl's wondering if it's raining soccer balls in his end of the arena, but none of them have gone in the net yet. Randy Pikasinski, right side red line. Now on the left, it comes to Tobin. They're in the middle of a line change. Kondrich winds, lets it go wide to the left. Rebound comes back outside Toby, trying to get inside Garrett, and he dumped it over the glass and out of play. And that'll be a goal kick for Toledo with 5.56 to go in the first period. And boy, I'm telling you, the Invaders have come very close a couple of times down there. Stahl came up with a couple of big saves, and they're just not quite able to find the net on a couple of other occasions. And the result is still nothing, nothing on the scoreboard. Nobody in any foul trouble. Two fouls on Canton, still just one on Toledo. And 5.56 to play in the period. Randy Pikasinski, Kia, Tobin, Pisano, and Condrich for Canton. And it's Kelly, Garrett, McGeo, Mazur, and Armuth for Toledo. The ball at midfield is Powers. Ted Powers is in. Left side off the boards. Nobody home there. Pisano clears ahead to Randy Pikasinski. Now Tobin. Toby back edge of the midfield circle. Dumps it ahead for Randy. Garrett got it away from him. Stahl able to knock it away from Pikasinski. And it's controlled by Dean Kelly at the Toledo red line. Bad pass taken away midfield by Tobin. Coming the other way, Randy Pikasinski, left side to Toby. He feeds underneath. Randy had the ball knocked away by Garrett on a good defensive play. And coming the other way is Kelly. Kelly had it deflected by Kia, but Powers gets it back for Toledo. Powers shot Swanner, dives to his left, and comes up with that save. 5-10 in the period. Outlet left side at midfield to Tobin. We go the other way again. Toby working on Mazer. Left side for Randy. Back out front at midfield. It comes to Condrich. Tomo, a couple of steps in, approaches Kelly at the red line. Two 15s go at it, and Tomo backs it up right edge of the circle to Pisano, right side at the Toledo red line to Tobin, and back again to Oscar. Oscar matched up with Powers, down in the corner left side for Kia, back to the net on Mazer. Kelly over for the double team, but he dumps it outside. Condrich with a shot, that's blocked, and Powers controls for Toledo. Powers and Kelly attack, two on two. Right side feed, Swanner out of the net to knock that away from Kelly. Knocked it right to Mazer, shot blocked by Pisano. Oscar in excellent position to protect the Invader goalkeeper. Coming the other way is Pisano. Right side, red line, he wants Randy, shot loose out front, and it comes out to the midfield area. Kramer at the red line, and his pass for Pisano was a little too far, but the ball knocked away from the goalkeeper by Tobin to Kramer. He fires, good save by Stahl, and the rebound by Rudy is up over the glass and out of play. That was blocked by McGeo, and Canton should get a kick in on that, I believe. The timeout has been called with 4.08 to play in the period. Yeah, middle of a line change, and uh, somebody almost got burned on that. Happened, the clock, okay, now the clock goes back. It said 15.08, now back to 4.08. They have certainly had their opportunities, the Invaders have, 
And it's a go bugaboo that's been bugging him for a little while. You've got to finish. The opportunities are there, and when you get them, you've got to put them in the back of the net. And so far, that back of the net has been a little bit elusive for Canton so far tonight. Stahl trots back in the Toledo goal. And I guess they are going to call that a goal kick for Toledo. Well, if that wasn't blocked, Pikasinski really got under that ball that he could have because he was hitting it from kind of a funny angle. Stahl drops it outside the box to Christensen, back in the goal box for Stahl. And coming up with a four-minute mark to go in the first quarter, and that's going to be a three-line violation of Stahl threw it over everything. And they'll put it back in play at the Toledo red line. Rudy Pikasinski steps away, and they'll let Schlotthauer trigger it in to Magic. Celestin right side at the red line. Magic, a couple of steps in through the middle, around one, and he fires it off the boards. Rudy couldn't get the follow, but there was a dangerous play called on Pikasinski anyway as he had the foot up a little high near Christensen. And that'll be the third foul on the Invaders. One on Toledo and 3.47 to go in the first quarter. Clock moving. Armuth with the ball at the Toledo red line. Ahead for McDermott. McDermott inside Rudy in the Canton zone. Left side centering ball picked off. They wanted Salguero with a wall feed, but Jamie dived in front and stepped in front and uh, grabbed a hold of that one. Celestin right side Canton red line on McDermott. Ahead to Mike Paxos. Paxos on the run with Armuth in the corner. Through the front. Ball headed away. And McDermott will try to clear, and he knocks it out to midfield. Schlotthauer will chase it down there for Kent. 3.18 to go in the first quarter. Celestin, front edge of the midfield circle on McDermott. Backs it up, left side at midfield for Schlotthauer. Forward for Rudy, and Rudy will get called for the push as he had pushed off on uh, Armuth, who was down on the floor. That's the fourth foul on the Invaders. Salguero, left side, Toledo red line, arm with middle of the floor, ridden away by Celestin, and the ball steered away by Kramer. Paxos taps it in to Jamie Swanner. Outlet straight ahead at the red line to Celestin, the magic man for Kramer. Kramer moving up the left side, trying to get away from Christensen, and Ridgeway to double team, and the ball knocked away and controlled by Salguero. Lead up the left side, Swanner will get there first. And knock it away from Christensen, ahead to Celestin. Celestin's got to move away from Salguero, finds Paxos there. Ridgeway's on him, they dump it back in the goal box. Swanner grabs it and holds on. Outlet straight ahead, midfield for Schlotthauer, through the circle, right side at the Toledo red line to Celestin. Celestin off the wall, Rudy knocks it back in the corner. Ridgeway controls for Toledo, and he will try to clear. Magic knocks it away, taken back by Rudy Pikasinski. 2.15 in the period. Schlotthauer fires. That's blocked by Christensen. Salguero may have a breakaway the other way. Paxos with a sliding play to knock it down from behind. But Paxi's going to get the two-minute trip call on the play as Salguero goes down. I don't know if they'll give him a shootout on that or not. First penalty of the game goes against the Invaders. It comes at 12.53 of the first period. Paxos will get whistled for tripping. And we'll have to see whether there's a shootout or a penalty kick that will follow this. Toledo will go on the power play. They're gonna call it a shootout. Invader goalkeepers two for two at stopping these this year. Both previous shootout attempts occurred against Milwaukee. Swatter stopped one and Namoski stopped one. Salguero will take the shootout for Toledo. And this is their first attempt of the year for Toledo in the shootout. He'll start from the red line. He has uh, five seconds in which to dribble and shoot. If he scores, the power play ends. If he doesn't score, they go on the two-minute man advantage. Here comes Salguero. Couple of Northern Division All-Stars. Salguero on Swanner, one-on-one. Salguero with the approach, and Swanner kicks save, knocks it away. And Jamie clears it out to midfield. So Swanner stops the shootout. That brings the crowd here to its feet. Toledo will go on the two-minute power play now. But Danny Swanner comes up big in the Invader goal.
one bunch on the field to kill the penalty. Lola, Condrich, Frick, and Kramer. Centering ball knocked away and then controlled by Swanner. And we run off 10 seconds of the penalty. Garrett chasing the ball down in the Toledo zone. Kramer there to try to give him a problem, but he gets it ahead to Bob Denunzio. Denunzio seeing his first action for Toledo. Garrett across the midfield line. A minute 38 left in the penalty. Left side to Powers. Back outside Denunzio on the left point. Now Garrett middle of the floor. Garrett tries to get inside for Kelly. And Kelly is going to be called for holding. And that'll be the second foul on Toledo. And the Invader man down unit will put it in play. Swanner with the ball in the box. Outlet midfield for Frick. Frick trying to get behind Salguero. And Frick, he got around one, around two, and he loses all four guys. Backs up to Condridge. Tomo winds, fires. Stahl has to go down to make the save. And with a minute 10 in the penalty, they start the other way. Salguero across midfield. Salguero across the Invader red line, right side for Kelly. Kelly centering ball intercepted by Kramer. Ahead to Frick. Here they come two on two if they hurry. Frick up the right side of the floor. He fires, and it's just not a play. I don't know if that was high or if Stahl got a piece of that. I think it's going to be a goal kick for Toledo. Stahl swiped at it with a hand, but it was over his head anyway. Frick, showed a little bit of speed that time as Denunzio was not able to keep up with him. 55 seconds left in the penalty, and so far the Invaders have had better scoring opportunities on this than Toledo has. Minute to go in the first period. Still no score. Garrett out across the Toledo red line. To the Canton red line. Picked up by Frick. Out front Kelly. Right side Sal Garrow. Middle of the floor Garrett. Garrett down in the corner. Power centering ball. He missed Kelly out in front of the net. Sal Garrow's follow is wide to the left. And Powers chases it down. His shot. Swatter with a save up against the post. And Jamie's long lead for Randy Pikasinski is headed away by Denunzio. Taken back by Powers. Powers moves in on Lola. Ball knocked away. Salguero with a shot. No. Powers couldn't get the follow as Lola deflects to Frick. And now back to Lola. Denunzio stepped in front to break that up. 14 seconds in the penalty. Rudy Pikasinski. Randy Pikasinski with an interception. Here comes Frick. Frick with a move around Salguero. Two on one. Frick looks to center. He right through the legs of Stahl. Third short-handed goal of the year for Steve Frick. Three seconds left in the penalty, just ten left in the period. Frick with a short-handed goal puts the Invaders up 1-0. And I would think Randy Pikasinski would get an assist on that. Well, I guess, guess they're going to call it unassisted. Both teams full strength. There's Paxos with an interception. And his shot sails up into the crowd as the first period runs out. We played 15 at the Civic Center. The Invaders won Toledo nothing. We come back in 60 seconds. Experience the... He's had to work a little bit, and Stahl has been outstanding for Toledo in the first quarter, but the Invaders lead 1-0. Start the second quarter. They push it ahead. Randy Pikasinski off the wall, back for Toby, and it's squirted out behind him. Condrich keeps it in left point. Tomo dumps it down for Randy in the corner. Randy tries to center, and the ball knocked away by McDermott and cleared out of there by Ridgeway, but Condrich gets it back at midfield. 10-9 Invaders let in shots in the first period and five saves for each goalkeeper. And we've got a pushing foul against Toledo. 
That'll be the first foul of the second quarter, and the Invaders will kick it in from the left corner just outside the penalty box area. Don Tobin will trigger it in, set plays. Pick Kaczynski, Randy Pickazinski out in front of the box. He cuts through. They leave it for Pisano. His shot is blocked by McDermott and headed away. McDermott dumps it up against the boards. That stays in play. Pisano will work on Ridgeway. Oscar backs it up to midfield to Condrich. Condrich forward, red line left side for Kia. Kia working against Lenny Armuth. Back outside of the midfield circle, it comes to Oscar. And Pisano backs it up to Condrich. one nothing Canton. We're in the second period now. Looking for an invader goal to make Connie Jingo of Canton another contestant winner here. Oscar backs it up to the Canton red line. Pisano, airborne, right side for Tomo, for Tomo. Tomo through the box. Stahl took it away from him and dumps it out. McDermott had it knocked away by Randy, shot by Tomo wide. Stahl got a piece of that. And McDermott clears it in the box for Stahl before Kia could arrive to do any more damage. Outlet comes to McDermott at midfield on the left side. Condrich back with him. Forward for Salguero in the corner. It eludes him. Arma's shot wide. And uh, Tobin pushes it ahead. And Condrich leaves it left side at the red line for Randy. Pikasinski, left edge of the circle. On the right side at midfield to Tobin. Toby, right side in the Toledo zone. It comes for Randy. Pikasinski working against Christensen. Back outside to Tobin. Left side to Condrich. Tomo, a couple of steps in. Back to Randy. Randy wanted Kia inside. The pass wasn't open. He dumps it back outside to Tobin. Now Kia. Now Tomo. And that's loose out front. Ball knocked away by Armuth to Salguero. Salguero, midfield on Pisano. Randy comes over to try to deflect, but they get it ahead for Armuth. Armuth centering ball. Shot by Christensen wide to the right. Toledo had uh, numbers back that time, but they couldn't find the back of the net. And coming the other way at the red line with it is Pisano. Oscar left side off the boards for Kramer. Kramer, Celestin, and Rudy will be in with Paxos and Schlotthauer on D. Celestin in the Toledo zone. Shot, that caught somebody hard up front. And back outside, it comes to Schlotthauer. Schlotthauer chases it back to the red line and in the goal box for Swanner. Jamie outlet left side for Walt Schlotthauer and back to Swanner again. 12.20 to play in the first half. The Invaders lead one to nothing. We're on the air tomorrow night from Chicago. Long lead, Kramer. Kramer left side in the corner against the boards. His pass is deflected, and Salguero heads it out to midfield. Ridgeway sweeps it back to Salguero. Now back to Ridgeway on the left side. Ridgeway looking for the feed, blocked by Schlotthauer. Ridgeway got it back. Salguero shot and scored into the corner. I think Jamie thought that ball was going to be handled up front, and before he knew what happened, it was in the back of the net. Time of the goal will be exactly three minutes into the period. Carlos Salguero picks up his 35th goal of the year. And Neil Ridgeway will pick up the assist. And Toledo has tied the game up 1-1. Just kind of tucked it into that left corner. Rudy Pikasinski with Art Kramer and Celestin, the forward three for Canton. Paxos and Schlotthauer on defense. Kelly, Garrett, Powers, Mazur, and the McGee for Toledo. And you got a holding call coming up against Kelly that, uh, after grabbing on to Celestin, will be the second foul on Toledo in the period. None on Canton so far. Toledo has the only goal of the second period. We're tied 1 1. Schlotthauer, midfield area against Powers, backs it up to Swanner. Swanner's pass deflected by Powers. Schlotthauer gets it back for Canton outlet. Left side at midfield for Paxos, working against Garrett, and back in front of the goal arc to Swanner. Jamie, 1984 U.S. Olympian, comes outside. The red line pushes it ahead for Kramer. Off the wall behind him, and Powers controls for Toledo. Drops the ball back for Mazur, and now in the goal box with it is a stall. Outlet comes to Kelly on the left side. Up in the air, they want Powers at the Invader red line. He had trouble with that and uh, swept in the goal box by Schlotthauer. Swanner taps it ahead for Artie Kramer. 
Toledo back it up on D. Kramer midfield circle against Kelly. Now Paxos ahead to Celestin. Celestin trying to get inside McGeo. They were teammates at Columbus last year. And Magic able to dribble it around and get it back outside to Schlothaus. Now Kramer at midfield. And back outside the goal box it comes to Swanner. Right side at the Canton Red Line to Art Kramer. 10.40 to go in the first half. Already long lead for Rudy Pikasinski. Pikasinski with Mazur in the left corner. And Mazur able to flex, but he's called for holding as he pulled Pikasinski down. That'll be the third foul on Toledo. Celestin will trigger it in. Left side in the, in the Toledo defensive zone. Magic outside for Paxos. Paxos on mark, lets it go. Blocked in the corner by Kelly. And Kelly knocks it away from Kramer. Now Garrett controls for Toledo. Kramer got a piece of that to Paxos. Paxos leaves it for Celestin. Celestin backing away from two pride players on the double team. Kondrich back to Magic. Magic taken down on the trip by Kelly. And that'll be the fourth foul on Toledo. And the pride digging themselves a foul trouble hole now with 10.20 to go in the period. And they have only one more foul to give before they would draw the two-minute penalty. No fouls on the invaders so far in the second quarter. Swanner, outlet, right side at the red line to Kondrich. Midfield on the left side, it comes to Tobin. Toby working on Powers, ahead to Pisano. Dumps it inside of Kelly. And uh, Rudy can't get it there. Now he does get it outside, but knocked it to Garrett. Garrett with a move around Pisano at the red line, up the left side for Kelly. Or, uh, yeah, it is Kelly, but knocked away by Kramer. Ahead for Pikasinski, it's too far. Stall outlet, right side midfield for Garrett. Garrett and Rudy go at it there. Back in the goal box again for John Stahl. Stahl dumps it out on the left side for Mazur. Mazur out to midfield. Pisano is there. I don't know if he sees Salguero. He didn't, but he still got around him. Then he goes down, and McDermott steers it away. McDermott knocks it around Kramer, but Kondrich had the angle on Salguero to knock it away at the red line and back in the goal box for Swanner. Invaders in the line change. Kia with the outlet on the left side. Game is tied 1-1 with 9-11 to play in the uh, second quarter. Kia off the deflection by Ridgeway gets it back at midfield. Back to the invader red line in front of the goal lock to Pisano. Oscar long lead for Randy Pikasinski, and it was three lines over the three line violation. So we go back to the Canton red line. Ridgeway to put it in play for Toledo with 8.59 to go in the first half for Salguero, ball deflected by Pisano. Salguero gets it back in the corner for Ridgeway. They combined on the first Toledo goal, you remember, a couple of minutes ago. Ridgeway had it knocked away, double teamed by Kia and Pisano, and Kia clears it out for Randy Pikasinski. Pikasinski, right side, outside the red line to Kia, dumps it back in the goal box for Swanner, and the outlet comes left side to Donnie Tobin. Tobin across midfield. Cuts to his right, crosses with Kia, who sweeps it back in the circle for Pisano. Right side it comes to Kondrich, and all the way back for Jamie one more time. 8.21 to go in the period. Swanner will come out on the right side across the red line. He can come all the way up to midfield if he wants to. He heads it up to Kia. Kia back to Kondrich at midfield, and back again to Swanner. Swanner, right side to Kondrich. Tomo to Pisano, airborne for Randy Pikasinski, heads it through the goal box. Kia and Armuth chase it down there. And Armuth comes away, lost it to Tobin, whose shot was just wide to the right. And McDermott clears, but Kondrich gets it back at midfield, and Pisano able to step in front of an onrushing Salguero, who had visions of a breakaway. Pisano jumps over McDermott. He feeds through the middle, ball blocked out in the corner. Oscar's wall feet out front, knocked away by Armuth. Kondrich and Salguero go up in the air. It lands at the feet of Randy Pikasinski. Dumps it off on the right side to Pisano in the middle for Kia. Kia winds, fires, and a good save by Stahl to put that one over the glass and out of play. That'll be a corner kick for Canton from the right side, and we've got an injured Toledo player down on the field. I believe that is Jimmy McGeo. It's either McGeo or McDermott. They look a little bit alike, hanging on to the right leg. 7.28 to play in the first half. Invaders in Toledo tied 1-1. Still attending to the injured pride player. Had to take a good look and see who that is. Is that three or five? I 
think it's McDermott. And it is McDermott. Ooh, and that's not a good sign. He will require assistance at right leg, not touching the floor at all as McDermott goes out. Bob Denunzio will come in and take his place. 7.28 to go in the first half, and the Invaders in Toledo tied at 1-1 as McDermott hobbles off with an injury to the right leg. Tobin will trigger it in from the right corner for Canton. Randy and Kia out in front of the box. Randy cuts through the right. Pisano with a shot blocked out front by Christensen, and Ridgeway clears ahead. Kondrich got there first up against the boards to knock it away from Denunzio. Swanner clears it out. Christensen heads it to Salguero. Back to Christensen right side. Christensen shot blocked by Kondrich. Dumps it in the corner. Kondrich took it away from Denunzio. And it squirts free in the goal box where Swanner grabs it and holds on. Long lead. Randy got behind the defender, but Ridgeway able to head it away. Kia dumps it up in the air, but it's over the glass and out of play. And Toledo will put it in from the midfield stripe with 6.59 to go. In the first half, game is tied 1-1. Still looking for an invader goal in this period for our contestant, Connie Jingo of Canton. Salguero back to the net at the red line. Christensen dumps that in. Condridge dumps it right back out. Kia working against Arma. Shovels it back for Randy. It's behind him, but Oscar shovels it forward. Randy working against uh, Christensen. Now Condridge, left edge of the midfield circle. Tomo rushes forward, left side for Tobin. Ball deflected by Denunzio. Tobin chases it down, gets it back to Oscar. Dumps it in for Randy. Ball knocked away. And Ridgeway will clear for Toledo. Tobin and Randy to double team on D. Salguero had it knocked away by Condrich. Randy, middle of the floor. Taken down by Armuth. And they get the trip call. The guy on the other side of the field called it. The official that was looking right at it was going to let it go. But the guy all the way out here at midfield called the trip. And that'll be five on Toledo. He's going over to the scoring table to talk about something. I did not see him pull a blue card out for that. Unless there's some question over whether that was the fifth or sixth foul. I would think that would be the fifth foul and we'll just put it back in play from there. Yep. That's what they'll do with 6.19 to play in the first half. Tobin will put it in play for Canton. Next foul by Toledo will put somebody in the penalty box. Invaders have only one team foul. Tobin right side Oscar. He lets it go. That was blocked by Denunzio. Oscar able to get back outside with it. Dumps it in for Tobin. Tobin with Salguero over to Swanner. Swanner ahead for Toby off the boards. And Toby able to kind of shift inside Denunzio to get position to keep him from coming in on the attack. Kondrich ahead for Randy Pikasinski. Toledo red line against Christensen. Randy moves to the middle of the floor, dumps it back for Kondrich. Tomo a couple of steps in on Ridgeway, back to Kia, back to Tomo on the right corner. 5.47 to go. Left side it comes to Donnie Tobin. Tobin for Kia. Kia centers out front. Nobody marking Oscar in the corner. Ball loose out front. Knocked free and finally pounced on by Stahl. Oh, my heavens. Somebody blew an assignment there, but the Invaders not able to take advantage of it. Kia hounding Denunzio, but Denunzio able to move away around the boards. Ahead it comes Christensen. There's a shot. Kick saved by Swanner off the shot by Ridgeway. Christensen with a weak shot that Swanner handles on the second bounce. Outlet ahead to Kia. And now it's Randy Pikasinski dumping it back in the goal box for Jamie Swanner. 5.08 to play in the first half. Pisano, long lead for Rudy Pikasinski. Pikasinski with a shot up in the stage. And did Stahl get a piece of that? I don't think so. That'll probably be a goal kick. 5.01 to go in the period. Paxo Schlotthauer. Rudy Pikasinski, Art Kramer, and Magic Celestin for Canton. Kelly, Garrett, Powers, Mogillo, and Mazur for Toledo. 
Maguio taps it in the goal box for Stahl. Stahl still with it on the floor, and he'll come out with it. Rudy approaches. Stahl clears midfield for Kelly, sweeps it on the right side for Mazur. Mazur launches it in the air. That's over the head of Kelly in the corner, and Schlotthauer clears out to midfield. And Kramer trying to get around a man and can't quite do it on McGeeo as he, uh, able to, he's able to shift away and come back the other way for Kelly. Kelly trying to get inside, dumps it outside to Powers. Powers centers, shot by Garrett off the crossbar. And Powers comes back with it on the point, taken away by Pikasinski. Rudy up the left side of the floor, trying to get inside Mazur. Down in the corner, and he knocks it up in the air through the box. Garrett out there to knock it away, but uh, Schlotthauer controls for Canton. And in the box, somebody was sent sprawling. And that's going to be on Toledo. And if it is, that's at least the sixth foul. If it's not a two-minute infraction, Rudy Pikasinski got up off of the ground clapping. And let's see what the call is going to be. They have not flashed the sixth foul up. That could be another... That could be another penalty other than the sixth foul. We'll see. The blue card came out. And so they're going to sit somebody down for two minutes. Mazur gets unsportsmanlike conduct. Now, what makes this doubly important, they commit another foul. They go two men down. Time of the penalty will be 10.45. That's Mazur's 20th penalty minute. So he'll have to sit out Toledo's next game. Invaders will go on the power play. Canton, 41 goals and 101 attempts this year, 41%. Outside, Schlotthauer shoots and scores! That didn't take long. Two seconds. Thunderfoot drills it in from the red line into the right corner of the net. And the Invaders lead 2-1. And Don Tobin will pick up the assist for Schlotthauer. It is his 12th goal of the year for Tobin, his 21st assist. Power play goal at 10:47. The Invaders lead 2-1. to one. And Connie Jingo of Canton, you just won the tickets and the dinner certificate in addition to the coffee mug. So our last contestant of the year is a winner. Ball in the goal box and Schlotthauer off his chest steers it in for Jamie Swanner. Four minutes to go in the period, and again, Toledo, one foul away from drawing another penalty. Celestin moves around Ridgeway, dumps it in, centering ball hit Kramer in the chest. The foul was blocked by Armuth, and Denunzio had it knocked away for a second, but eventually got it out to Salguero. Schlotthauer, sliding play, missed. Salguero's pass intercepted by Paxos ahead to Schlotthauer. Walter backs it up for the Magic Man. Invaders with a 2-1 lead. Left side of the red line, it comes to Kramer. Kramer, around one. He feeds out front for Rudy. Back to Celestin. Magic, couple of steps in on uh, Denunzio. His shot knocked into the corner by Stahl. And Magic out to knock it away again. And Celestin through the front of the box area. Taps it over for Paxos. His shot is blocked out of play by Ridgeway. And the Invaders will put it back in play from the right side with 3-10 to play in the first half. Canton, two and Toledo won. Frick and Schlotthauer have scored for Canton. Salguero has the Toledo goal. And it could real easy be about 6-4 right now were it not for some great play by both goalkeepers. Celestin centers through, knocked away, but Kondrich has it out front. Denunzio blocks his pass. Paxos tries to steer it away, but Ridgeway has it. Over to Salguero. Salguero up the left side, lost the ball for a second, got it back. He winds, he fires in the deflection by Denunzio, hit the post. And Swanner breathes a sigh of relief as here we go the other way, three on two. Celestin feeds to an open, Kramer behind Pikasinski. Boy, Rudy had an empty net over there. It'll be a three-line violation on Toledo. If that ball is not behind Rudy, he's gonna stuff that home. 
but it was a little bit behind him, and Rudy couldn't get to it. <laughs> Celestin inside the red line. Moves to the right. He winds, he fires. That one's in the stage. That'll be a goal kick for Toledo. With 2.37 to go in the first half, and the Invaders leading 2-1. to one. Now let's see if they set out to try to draw that sixth foul out of Toledo and get another power play. They took only two seconds to score on their first man advantage. Right on the set play from the side, Tobin tapped it outside to Schlotthauer, who drilled it into the lower right corner of the net. Stahl dumps it outside to Mazur. Back in the goal box for Stahl. And Stahl picks it up, puts it back down. Sends it out midfield. Pac er, Pisano dumps that away. Mazur in the race. Stahl had to knock that free. Good play by Stahl to clear that away. A couple people thought he might have been outside the box, but that was close. I think that was a good play by Stahl. Coming the other way, Garrett. Garrett on the left side, it goes. McGeo with a shot and score! Swanner was screamed on the play, never saw it. That went between about three bodies after McGeo shot it. And Jamie had no idea where it was, and the game is tied 2-2. McGeo will pick up just his fourth goal of the year for Toledo. Time of the goal, 12.50. And Garrett will get the assist. Garrett, his second assist of the year. And we're tied up at 2-2 again. 2.04 to go in the first half. Long ball, they want Kelly. Pisano with him in the right corner. And Kelly backs it up for McGeo. Same spot he shot from before. That one's wide to the left. And Randy Pikasinski comes the other way for Kent. Ahead for Don Tobin. Tobin, he's got Kia to his left. And Randy over there, too. Backs it out to Condrich. Condrich, right side at the red line, over for Toby. That ball's knocked away by Mazur. Here comes Toledo on the counterattack. Garrett midfield circle around Condrich, and he feeds it in the corner. Centering ball taken away by Swanner off the attempted pass by Mazur. Kia dumps it ahead. Randy in a race there, but that'll roll in the goal box where Stahl can control before anybody from Canton can get down there. Powers with it at the Toledo red line. Minute 17 in the first half. And Kelly drops it back for Garrett, right edge of the midfield circle. Ball deflected by Randy Pikasinski, taken by Kia. Kia moves it over on the right side to Randy. Randy in a race with uh, Mazur in the corner. Randy spins, looks for the feet outside. It comes to Tobin. Toby dumps it in for Kia. Kia is hauled down in the box, no call. And coming the other way is Garrett. McGeo got away with one that time. Garrett moves around Condrich. Condrich will get whistled for the push. And that'll be the second foul on the Invaders. And Tomo did push. 48 seconds to play. Game is tied 2-2. McGeo, midfield, launches in the corner for Powers. Condrich heads it away from him. Powers gets it back. Tries to center. Once Kelly, Pisano took it away and dumps it out to midfield. Good D by Oscar. Out in front of the Invader net. Now they dump it in the goal box at the other end for Stahl. Ahead to Kelly at midfield, 27 seconds. Kelly around Pisano, ball knocked away by Tobin. And Toby will steer it ahead for Kramer. Kramer clears up, 14 seconds in the quarter. Hardy, left side, trying to get inside of Garrett. He does, centers out front, shot by Tobin, blocked out front. Pisano has it with 2-1, and that's the end of the half. With a score, the Canton Invaders won. And the Toledo Pride, or rather the Canton Invaders two. And the Toledo Pride two. North Industry Church of Christ with the Heights Elementary School. Emerson School. HR Lodge. Sandy Valley High School Foreign Language Club. Marley School. Two even up at the end of the first 30 minutes. And those will be the starters that I just gave them to you as the final fives trot out on the floor.
Toledo, the visiting team, will control the kickoff to start the third quarter. 2-2 tie. Invaders and Toledo. And we're on the air again tomorrow night, 625 from Chicago, as the Invaders meet the Chicago Shockers. That one, the biggest game of the season so far, as the Invaders will try to stretch that lead out of that Northern Division, give themselves a little bit of breathing room. They need this one tonight to set it up. They'd like to go in a game up and have a chance to leave two games up. Kia dumps the ball away from Armuth at midfield. Kia in the Toledo zone across the red line. Randy with him to the left. Kia tries to move away from Denunzio against the boards, and he gets between him and Ridgeway outside. Condridge fires, hit the post, rebound wide to the right side. Kia looking for the follow, but it's steered out by Armuth. And Ridgeway clears out. Denunzio and uh, Tobin collide, and they go down, and the trip call goes against Tobin. First foul of the period against the Invaders. Salguero, Canton Red Line. Passes to the right side. Nobody home there for Toledo. Randy Pikasinski runs it down. And over to Oscar. Pisano with a move around Salguero. Two players from Argentina. And Oscar right side at midfield. Salguero with position. Oscar backs it up to the red line. Now moves again around Salguero. Ahead to Tobin. Tobin on Denunzio. Salguero to double team. Toby trying to get inside. And Denunzio will get called for holding. Oh, they call it on Tobin. They were both doing some grabbing. Toby was the one who got caught. And the second foul on the Invaders comes at 14.04 left to play in the period. Ridgeway, midfield circle, forward for Denunzio, working on Tobin, back at midfield to Ridgeway on the right side. Condridge with him. They dump it down in the corner. Tobin has position on Denunzio, and Toby will back it in the goal box for Swanner. Jamie scoops it up, fires the outlet, splits a couple of defenders ahead to Randy Pikasinski at the red line. Randy backs it away from Denunzio. Now Tobin, right side to Randy. Randy back to Toby. Toby through the middle. Back on the left side at the red line to Condridge. Tomo moves to his right. Now back to the left away from Ridgeway. Pass off the wall. Kia centers behind Tobin. Right through the goal mouth. The Condridge double team trying to get it away. And it goes over the glass and out of play. And Toledo will put it in with 13-19 to play in the third quarter. Two fouls on the Invaders, none on Toledo in the period. The game is tied 2-2. That was the halftime score. McGill will put it in play from the Toledo defensive end. Rudy Pikasinski with Art Kramer, Magic Celestin, Walt Schlothauer, Mike Paxos for Canton. Ted Powers, Dean Kelly, Mike Garrett, Dave Mazur, and Jimmy McGill for Toledo. John Stahl with the ball in the goal box. Sends it ahead. Kelly sweeps it out of a double team over to McGill on the right side. Forward for Powers. Powers working on Paxos. Cuts to the middle. Rudy to double team. Powers centers for an open. Kelly he shoots. He scores. And Toledo leads for the first time. 3-2. Kelly from Powers. Time of the goal. 158 of the third period. Dean Kelly now has 20 goals on the year. And Ted Powers with 19 assists. And for the first time tonight, Toledo owns the lead by a score of 3-2. to two. There was nobody at all on Kelly in front of Swatter. He had the keeper one-on-one. -on -one. And most of the time, the shooter's going to win that. And Toledo leads 3-2. We're in the third quarter. Celestin backs it away from Kelly and Powers. In the goal box for Swatter. Jamie will come out with it. Swanner out across the red line. Pretty good Toledo contingent here. You might have heard him on that last goal. Long lead inside. Mazur didn't get it. Kramer centers for Rudy. Ball knocked away. Loose out front. And Stahl pounces on the ball just before Rudy could get there. 12.34 to go in the quarter. Toledo three, Canton two. Up the right side of the floor comes McGill for Toledo. Dumps it in the invader zone. Swanner grabs, grabs that and sends it right back out to Kramer. Hardy right side at midfield, across the Toledo red line, a hit for Schlotthauer. Walter didn't go for it, however, and Powers leaves it for McGill, and now in the goal box for Stahl. Stahl sends it ahead for Garrett. Garrett up the right side of the floor. Celestin picks him up at the Canton red line. Garrett on the right side, inside of Magic, and he goes down, and Magic gets whistled for the trip. And that's the third foul on Canton, three minutes into the period. 
Toledo will put it in play from outside the arc. Garrett to trigger it in. Garrett dumps it inside. Powers steered it wide to the right. McGeeo centers. Powers shot wide to the right again. And Pikasinski clears it out, but that's in the seats out of play on the far side. And Toledo will again put it in play. Toledo three, Canton two, 11.48 to go in the third quarter. Christensen standing over the ball for Toledo. Ridgeway, Salguero, Denunzio, and Armuth, the other four players on the floor for the Pride. Rudy Pikasinski with Slothauer, Paxo, Celestin, and Kramer. They dump it in for uh, Ridgeway, and he can't control, and Kramer will come out with it for the Invaders. Kramer, right side midfield for Celestin. Magic ahead, that's blocked by Ridgeway, and Ridgeway clears it ahead for Denunzio. Denunzio over the head of Salguero. Christensen can't get it. Kramer leaves it in the invader zone for Schlotthauer. Ahead right side at midfield for Celestin. Celestin ahead for Kramer. Stall out of the net to knock it away. And he just dumps it over the glass and out of play. Earlier in the year, that would have gotten you a sure two for delay of game, but the referees have just stopped calling that. It's, a, it's been a noticeable switch. They just went from calling it every time to not calling it at all. So I'm sure that was a directive from the league office. Because we've seen that called both for and against Canton a number of times early, and both Canton and their opponents have been getting away with it now later as the season goes on. Tobin to put it in play. 11-18 to go in the third period. Toledo three, Canton two. Toby outside to Pisano. Oscar working against Salguero. Dumps it ahead for Randy. Randy heads it out to midfield for Kondrich. Kondrich for Randy Pikasinski on the right side. Randy working on Christensen. Backs it out to midfield again to Kramer. And now for Toby. Spins inside. Ridgeway centering ball. Nobody home. And then uh, Armuth knocked it back over the glass and out of play. Boy, if there had been somebody there, they could have done some work again. Tobin will put it in from the right corner with 11 minutes exactly to play in the third quarter. 4,189. The crowd at the Civic Center tonight. Good crowd. Invaders trying to send them home happy. Tobin outside Pisano. Shot blocked out of play by Salguero into the seats. And we'll do it again. Outside Pisano. Down in the corner for Tobin. Knocked up in the air. Stahl punches it out and out of play again. This is like a baseball batter continually fouling off a 3-2 pitch. As Toledo able to keep knocking the ball out of play, the Invaders keep putting it back in. Again, Tobin outside Pisano. Inside Salguero on the right side. Centering ball knocked away and cleared out for Salguero. And he dumps it over on the left side for Ridgeway. Back to Salguero. Two Invaders around him, and they knock it away. And Tobin will try to clear it out of the Invader end. Swanner in the goal box, outlet to Pisano. Pisano out midfield, left side to Tobin. Tobin into the Toledo zone. Now for Randy. Randy back to Toby out front to Kia. Kia winds, fires wide to the left. Tobin with a foul wide. Kia with a shot, kick save, stall. Tobin can't get the shot. Denunzio tries to clear, dumps it out to Christensen. And Christensen clears it out. Coming the other way. Christensen right side at the Canton red line. Picked up by Randy, backs it up for Armuth. Ahead it comes to uh, Salguero. Ball knocked away by Kondrich. But Denunzio gets it back, centers, it's deflected, and Randy clears ahead for Tobin. Too far for Tobin. Armuth gets it back at midfield for Toledo. Now Ridgeway, right edge of the midfield circle, and Toledo wants a line change. So Ridgeway will back into his own end. Kia to apply some heat there. Outlet comes out to McGeo on the right side. McGeo across midfield, around Randy, around the Canton red line. Centers out front. Kelly, bad pass taken away by Celestin. Here we go the other way. Celestin with Kia and Randy. Celestin feeds left side off the boards for Randy. Randy tries to spin, double team. Ball knocked away by Kelly. And McGeo dumps it back in the goal box for Stahl. 9.15 to go in the third quarter. Toledo three, Canton two. Garrett left side at midfield for Toledo. Garrett works in on Celestin across the Canton red line. He fires Magic with a block. And Kramer shields the ball away from McGill. 
Schlothauer dumps it loose for Randy Pikasinski, and he clears it back in the goal box for Jamie Swanner. Swanner ahead, Schlothauer left side at the Canton red line. Now back inside it comes to Jamie. Powers comes out on him. Swanner with a move around Powers. Clears ahead for Kramer. Kramer trying to get inside. Kelly knocks him down. But Celestin gets it back ahead to Paxos. Paxos working on Powers to the middle of the floor. And a bad pass taken away by Kelly. And comes back the other way to Garrett. Garrett back off the foot of Mazur in the goal box for Stahl. 8.24 to go in the third quarter. Garrett left side at midfield for Toledo. Garrett ahead for Powers. Back to Garrett. Give and go. Sliding play by Schlonhauer. Knocked it away. Garrett got it back. Gets it away from Celestin. Knocks it back behind Kramer. And they clear left side at midfield. This is uh, Mazur. Back to McGeo. McGeo's got a handful of Kramer there. And he has to back it in the goal box for Stahl. Stahl outlet on the left side to Mazur. Invaders with a high pressure deep. Ahead midfield. Powers had it knocked away by Schlonhauer. Kelly and Celestin fight for it. Kelly comes away from the left side boards. Out loose out front. Down in the corner. Mazur with a shot blocked by Paxos. And Paxos tries to head it out. It's up in the air to midfield. McGeo chases it down there. And the ball uh, controlled by McGeo. He winds, he fires wide to the left. Schlothauer trying to knock it away from Garrett, but Garrett gets it back out on the left point to Mazur. Right side to McGeo. Seven and a half minutes to go in the quarter. Garrett, Powers, left side, looks to center. And nobody home out there as it squirts through the front of the goal box. And Garrett chases it down in the corner. Ball blocked by Schlothauer. Garrett got it back. Rudy over to help out. Knocked it out to Mazur. Mazur keeps it in on the left point. Now back out at midfield to Kelly. Bad pass taken away by Rudy. Rudy pushes it ahead up the right side. Rudy trying to get inside Mazur. Mazur knocked it in the goal box. But you got a push on Pikasinski, and that'll be the fourth foul on the Invaders as he pushed off on Mazur, who cleared it in. 3-2 Toledo. 7.03 to go in the third quarter. This is definitely an improved club from what they were earlier in the year. I'm talking about Toledo. Stahl with the ball, clears it out to midfield. It's too far for Denunzio. He and Magic in a race, but Swanner will get there first. And Jamie with a move out in the corner. Knocks it around Salguero, ahead to Celestin. Ball taken away from behind by Ridgeway. Knocked out by Schlothauer. Swanner kicks it loose in the corner. And Celestin with a move up the mid midfield side, trying to get around uh, Christensen. Ahead for Pisano. Pisano with Kramer. Oscar to Magic. Magic, he shoots, kick saved by Stahl. And Magic clears it back out. Celestin. To Pikasinski. Rudy around one. He shoots. That one's blocked by Armand. And cleared out to midfield. Kondrich in a race with Salguero. Tomo dumps it back in the box for Swanner. Jamie outlet left side for Tobin at midfield. Toby across the midfield stripe. Right side in the zone. It comes to Kramer. Kramer backing away from Christensen. Right point for Pisano. Oscar around one, around two. And he can't get the shot away. Now moves to the middle again. Three, he shoots, kick, save it a dandy by Stahl. And they clear it up for Ridgeway. Ridgeway had it knocked away by Kondrich, got it back. Ridgeway for Salguero. Salguero shoots Swanner with a save. And Pisano knocks that one over the glass and out of play. 5.41 to play in the period. It'll be a corner kick to Lito in the Canton zone. Ridgeway to trigger it in for the pride. Toledo 3, Canton 2. You're with 1480 WHBC Canton, radio home of the Invaders. Ridgeway dumps it out, left point. Armand shot through the box, knocked away by Kondrich. He wanted Denunzio on the post, followed by Salguero, blocked by Pisano. And that'll be a dangerous play on Christensen as he had the foot high near the face of Kia. That is the first foul on Toledo in the period with 5.32 to go. Toledo has the only goal. They lead 3-2. We're in the second half. Tobin trying to get inside Denunzio on the right side. Backs it out to Pisano. Now Randy Pikasinski back to the net in the right corner. Randy turns, faces the net, centers for Kia. He couldn't get the shot away. Christensen dumps it out. Kia got it back. Trying to get inside. Can't do it. And Kia has to heal it back to Pisano. Pisano picked up by Ridgeway, moves right side, now feeds left to Kia. He shoots, good save by Stahl again. And Ridgeway and Randy Pikasinski fight for it in the corner. It bounces out to midfield. Condrich taps it ahead for Pisano. 
Pisano working against Christensen off the wall, and they dump it in on goal, and it's controlled there by Stahl. Stahl outlet left side Christensen, Randy out after him, and Salguero has it in midfield, back to Christensen. Salguero up the left side into the Canton zone. Salguero spins in the corner on Randy, double teamed, and the ball taken away by Kondrich, and Randy clears it over to Don Tobin. Four and a half minutes to play. Third quarter. Randy Pikasinski, right side at midfield for Canton. Pikasinski picked up by Denuncio. Tobin centers for Kia right through his legs. Kia dumps it back at midfield for Pisano. 4.16 to go in the period. Pisano at the Canton red line. Left side off the boards at midfield for Kondrich. Tomo working on Christensen. Back it comes to Pisano against Salguero. And Oscar moves up the left side. Oscar, he wants to shoot. He fires. Stoll with a save off the ricochet. And Armuth and Pisano fight for it in the corner. And the push call goes against Oscar. And that's the fifth foul on the Invaders in the period. One more would put Toledo on the power play. 3.57 to go. In the period, Toledo three, Canton two. Stall with it in goal. Long lead, Powers at the Toledo, at the Canton red line. Trying to get away from Condridge, can't do it. Celestin comes the other way, ahead to Kramer. Kramer up the right side of the floor. Artie, around one, around two, dishes back, Magic. Ball knocked away by Kelly. Garrett comes the other way for Toledo. Garrett through the midfield circle. Three on two if they hurry. Kelly left side, wall pass, no. Garrett on the follow, can't get the shot away. Kramer chases him over on the left side. Now back to the middle of the floor. Centers out front, shot saved by Swatter. <laughs> Long lead for Rudy. Rudy wants Kramer, trying to get the feet off to him. Rudy back to himself, he shoots and scores! Oh, what a play by Pikasinski! Took it off the wall to himself and rammed it home in the upper left corner. 34th goal of the year for Rudy Pikasinski. And it ties the game up at 3-3. Time of the goal, 11-49. Pekosinski ends a long scoring drop for him. A couple of games. And Swanner will get the assist on that goal. And the Invaders have tied it 3-3. And we've just had the sixth foul at the other end as somebody pushed Garrett down for Toledo, so the pride will go on the power play. Their first power play ended in an Invaders shorthanded goal. This will be their second opportunity of the night. The time of the penalty is 11.54. So the Invaders tie it up and Toledo will go to the man advantage as the Invaders called for six fouls. Invaders in action tomorrow night from the UIC Pavilion in Chicago. Be with us for that one from the Windy City. Big game in the Northern Division. 625 airtime. We got a big one going right here, tied at 3-3. And Toledo will go on the power play. Maguillo, Salguero, Denunzio, Powers, and uh, Ridgeway for Toledo. Kramer, Frick, Kondrich, and Lola, the penalty killers for Canton. Denunzio backs it out for Ridgeway. Left side, Denunzio. And Denunzio moves inside a little on Kramer. Now back to the outside. And outside the red line to Ridgeway. Down in the corner, Powers. Centering ball knocked away. Powers gets it back through the box. Salguero shoots and scores. And Toledo goes right back on top, 4-3. Salguero is second goal of the night. This one coming on the power play. Time of the goal will be 12-12. And Salguero now with 36 goals on the season. picks up the assist, his second assist of the night, second assist of this quarter, as a matter of fact. And Toledo back up by one, 4-3, with 2.48 to go in the third period. 
So Rudy did some work to get it back, and now the Invaders have to try again. Lead ball for Randy Pikasinski in the Toledo zone, double team. Randy gets the ball out of the crowd, but it rolls right into stall. And he shovels it ahead. Coming up the floor on the left side is Mark Jackson. First time he's been in tonight. Jackson fires it in the Invader goal box. Swanner grabs it and holds on. Lead ball for Kia. Kia up the right side on Armuth. Kia moves in. Feeds outside for Tobin. Tobin left side to an unmarked Condrich. He winds. He fires and it's knocked out of play by Stahl. That'll be a corner kick from the left side for Canton. With 2.19 to go in the third period. And Toledo leading 4-3. Don Tobin to trigger it in from the left side for Canton. Toby outside Condrich, centers, knocked away by Armuth, and cleared out of there by Denunzio. Jackson on the run with Pisano up the right side of the floor. Oscar with a deflection, knocks it ahead for Tobin, but you've got a dangerous play called on Jackson. That's the second foul on Toledo. Kia trying to get inside Armuth, does. Up the right side, Armuth blocked the shot. It's knocked back out to midfield. Pisano in a race for that, and he gets there ahead of Jackson. And Oscar clears on the right side to Randy Pikasinski, who taps it back to Kondrich. Kondrich, his feed was blocked by Denunzio, but Tomo got it back. Minute 50 to go in the period. Toledo four, Canton three. Oscar down in the corner. Tobin couldn't control. Christensen will try to clear it out and gets it ahead for Jackson. Randy sent sprawling to the ground. Jackson gets it ahead for Mark Christensen. Christensen, front edge of the midfield circle for Toledo. Minute and a half to go in the third quarter. Canton trails by one, 4-3. Ridgeway, left side of the Canton red line on Pisano, backs it up to midfield to Christensen. Back to Ridgeway. Ridgeway with Kia. And he dumps it back at the red line to Armuth. Ahead, the ball knocked away by Tobin, but controlled by Toledo. Jackson trying to get inside of Randy Pikasinski. And they dump it back out to Ridgeway again. A minute eight to go in the period. Now here comes McGee. Forward for Kelly. Knocked away by Condrich. And Tobin clears it into Swanner. Long lead for Kia up the right side. Kia in the Toledo zone. His shot was blocked by McGee. And Kia dumps it back out to midfield. Pisano. 50 seconds in the period. Pisano left side for Condrich. Tomo a couple of steps in. His shot blocked by Garrett. And Tomo gets it back over to Pisano in the midfield circle. Oscar working against Kelly with 39 seconds to go in the third quarter. Oscar around Kelly, but Garrett picked it away, and here comes Toledo the other way. Garrett, midfield circle across the red line, and the ball knocked away from behind by Celestin, but he's going to get the push call with 27 seconds to go in the period. Garrett will put it in play in the Canton zone. Garrett looks in, dumps it out to McGeo and back out to Mazur at midfield, 22 seconds. Right side, McGee, oh, he winds, he fires. Kondrich blocks that in front. Celestin taps it ahead for Rudy Pikasinski. Rudy trying to get around Garrett and can't do it, and Rudy gets the push as Garrett goes down in front of the Invader bench. 11 seconds to go in the period. Here comes McGee up the right side. He launches it in, it's wide, and Celestin controls out. Five seconds in the period. Mazur's got it in midfield, taken away by Rudy. 2-1, they won't get the shot. No goal. That goal will not count, as it was the after the period had run out. And so we end three with a score, Toledo four, and the Invaders three back to the Civic Center in one minute. Kia, Randy Pikasinski, Tobin, Pisano, and Condridge for Canton. Salguero, Denunzio. Ridgeway, Christensen, and Armuth for Toledo. Randy Pikasinski takes the lead down on the Toledo end, but knocked away by Ridgeway. Armuth clears for Ridgeway, right side at midfield, inside the Canton red line. Ridgeway, wall feed for Salguero, knocked away by Condrich. Randy Pikasinski is fouled from behind by Ridgeway. That's right. Okay, the first score we got must have been incorrect then. In the fourth quarter, Tampa Bay leading Louisville 4-2. We early ever had Louisville leading that game 3-1, but I guess that's not right. Tampa Bay 4, Louisville 2. So the Southern Division may be getting tighter instead of uh, further apart. Tobin tries to knock it away from Armuth at midfield, but Christensen has it there for Toledo. Right side to Ridgeway. 
Ridgeway forward for Denunzio. Denunzio right side to Ridgeway. Dumps it in. No. Followed by Denunzio. Blocked by Tobin. And that foul is going to go against Denunzio as he was holding non Tobin. Second foul on Toledo. Toledo four, Canton three, 1401 left in the game. Pisano in the invader zone. The invaders will come out looking for the tie here, coming up the floor. Oscar, midfield circle. Salguero waits for him, a couple of steps outside the red line, a hit for Kondrich. Tomo trying to work inside the defense, backs it out, red line to Celestin. Celestin against Denunzio. Backs away as Salguero comes over to help out. And Celestin now moves inside along the boards. Denunzio cuts him off there. Magic drops it back out in the midfield circle to Pisano. 13 and a half minutes to go. Schlothauer left side. The invaders on the line change now. And Paxos has it. Right side of the circle. Paxos ahead for Steve Frick. Steve Frick playing in place of Kramer with Rudy Pikasinski and Magic. Celestin trying to get inside Denunzio. Ball is knocked away by Christensen. And Armuth clears, knocked away by Pikasinski. Frick got inside of Christensen. Fricky outside for Rudy. Rudy inside, ball knocked away. And cleared out of there by Ridgeway, but Rudy got it back. Rudy for Frick, give and go. Rudy knocked away, good play by Stahl. Took it right away from the feet of Rudy Pikasinski. And Stahl comes up shaking a little bit, but he gets a long lead for Salguero. Then it's dumped out of field, and Salguero's down on one knee at the other end, and he's hurt or rather stall, might have gotten jammed in the hand as he grabbed that ball away from the feet of Rudy. 12.44 to play in the game. And John Stahl being attended to, and while they do that, we'll take a 30-second timeout. Toledo 4, Canton 3. up on his feet now and apparently the hand is all right and he will remain in the game 1244 to go and Christensen dumped it out of play and it'll go back to the invaders three here Toledo on top of the invaders Schlotthauer to put it in play for Canton left side at midfield middle of the floor at the red line to Swanner Swanner out across midfield now he can go all the way to the Toledo red line if he wants he does he shoots and Stoll just knocked that away Schlotthauer with a follow wide and Mazur clears it in the goal box for Stoll Outlet quick out on the right side to Mazur again. Midfield, and he dumps it forward for Powers. Powers back to the net against Schlotthauer, and out to midfield it comes. McGill clears it in. They want Kelly out in front of the net. Kelly inside of Magic. Swanner out to knock that free, and Schlotthauer clears. Ahead for Rudy Pikasinski. Rudy left side for Magic. Back to Schlotthauer. Ahead for Mike Paxos, right side at the Toledo red line. He shoots, and a good save by Stahl, and he just able to scramble back and gather it in before Frick would, would have gotten there for the rebound. Garrett outside the red line, working on Paxos. Now Rudy over to help out. Garrett clears. Up the left side of the floor, it comes for Powers. Garrett clears down the left. Powers out front. Powers, heel shot, blocked partially by Schlotthauer, and then Paxos dumped it out to Celestin on the left side. Magic Man backs it up to Walt Schlotthauer. 11.25 left in the game. Schlotthauer ahead for Frick in the midfield circle. 
Fricky drops it back for Paxos. Paxos ahead for Celeste and ahead for Frick. Frick got around McGee off the right side. Frick's got Rudy out front. If he can find him, he missed him off the wall with a wall pass. And uh, Schlotthauer trying to get inside. Kelly can't do it. The pride comes the other way. Kelly moves through the midfield circle. Across the Invader red line. Stops. Tried the heel pass, and he didn't even get enough on it to get it to Garrett. Schlotthauer dumps back for Swanner. Lead ball for Rudy. Pikasinski with McGee in the Toledo zone on the right side. Rudy down in the corner, double teamed by Garrett, gets inside, both of them centers for Kia, and the foul goes against Toledo on Garrett. Kia scored on the play, but the whistle had already blown, and that will be foul number three against the Toledo Pride in this fourth quarter. Tobin will put it in play from the right corner. 10.48 left in the game, Toledo four, Canton three. Outside, Pisano put it in the stage, and that'll be a goal kick for Toledo. And there's a little bit of the frustration of the Invaders showing through here as they've had some opportunities and haven't been able to put them away. Wakia well, would have loved to have gotten a play on off that push call in the corner, but they didn't give it to him. In 46 left in the game. It'll be a goal kick for Toledo as soon as we get the ball back. And apparently they haven't located it in the back of the stage yet. Do we have another soccer ball in the house, gentlemen? Yes, we do. And they'll take one over from the side of the field and put it in. And now, of course, we get the one back from the stage, too. And they throw both of them out of play. <laughs> All right. One, one or the other will get back in here. We now have one soccer ball and one only on the field, and we're ready to go again. Stahl taps it outside the box to Christensen. Back inside it comes to Stahl. And Stahl will put it on the floor. Key to confront him. Out to Ridgeway. Left side feed at midfield for Christensen. Christensen across the Canton red line. Ball knocked in the corner. Denunzio there. Double teamed by Kia and Tobin. And Kia comes away with it. Here come the invaders on the counterattack. Kia up the right side of the floor for Randy Pikasinski. Trying to get inside Christensen. Ball knocked away. And coming back with it is Denunzio for Toledo. Salguero off. Uh, can't control is too far in front of him. Pisano moves right around Salguero. Feeds on the right side for Randy. Pikasinski looking inside. Now in the corner for Pisano. Pisano wall feed. Kia hit the post. Rebound knocked away. Tobin comes back outside with it. Out at midfield it comes to Kondrich. Kondrich right side to Pisano. 9.55 to go. Oscar Wines fires the score. Oscar Pisano ties it up at 4-4. Time of the goal, 5.08. Oscar Pisano, his ninth goal of the season. And we'll wait a minute on the assist on that. The important thing is the game is tied 4-4. And Tobin picks up his second assist of the night. On the Pisano goal, and the Invaders have tied it 4-4. And Oscar had a little bit of mustard behind that one as he drilled it from outside on the right. Toledo dumps it in the Canton zone. Paxos gets it inside power, sweeps it into Jamie Swanner. Tie game, 4-4, 9.37 to go in regulation time. Walt Schlotthauer with it. Back to Swanner. And Jamie will come outside the red line with it. Swanner. Dumps it ahead for Rudy Pikasinski. Trying to work on Mazer. Mazer with a deflection. Kelly can't clear. But it's deflected by Celestin over to Powers. And Powers on the attack for Toledo. Long lead for Kelly. Too long. And Swanner controls that. Quick outlet on the right side to Celestin. Here we go the other way. Celestin across the red line. Stops. Ball knocked away by Kelly. Celestin lost his balance and trip. And Pikasinski has it out front. Knocked away by Kelly. And they clear it out midfield. Powers working against Paxos there. Drops it back. Garrett. Now Mazer. And now it is uh, Kelly. Or that's Denunzi. Or rather, it's uh, 
McGee, or rather. Ball knocked away at midfield. Here comes Celestin for Canton. Magic around one, backs it up to Paxos, midfield, right side to Schlotthauer. Eight and a half minutes to go. Schlotthauer, left side for Paxos. Paxos on the point, backs it up to the Magic man. Celestin moving in on Garrett and Kelly. And now feeds right side to Paxos in the corner. Paxos working on Powers, taps it outside for Celestin on the right point. Magic, couple of steps in. He turns on the Jets, taken down by Kelly. No call, and coming the other way is Garrett. Garrett pushes it ahead for Powers. Powers, ball knocked away by Frick, deflected by Celestin. McGeo gets it back for Garrett. Garrett lost it from Celestin. Frick knocked it away from McGeo, and Rudy Pikasinski with it for Canton. Pushed, and there's the foul call. Fourth one on Toledo. Rudy would have liked to play on, but uh, that was not a clear-cut advantage, and the push is the fourth foul. Game tied, 4-4. Four, four. four fouls on Toledo, none on Canton in the period. 7.49 to go. Celestin will put it in play. Dumps it in the corner, right side for Frick. Frick and McGeo fight for it there. Double teamed by Powers. Frick got away from both of them. He shoots. He scored. Just knocked wide. And cleared in the goal box. Mazer got a piece of that up against the post. And Stahl ends up controlling. 7.31 to go. Outlet comes to midfield to Kelly. Kelly dishes the ball back for Mazer. Mazer in the goal box for Stahl. Stahl hounded by Frick. Lead ball midfield. Salguero lost it. Tobin clears ahead for Frick. Frick and Rudy may do some business here, but it's knocked away by Garrett. Sent it off the foot of Frick. And Garrett clears it out, but Pisano will get it back at midfield. Pisano moves right side. Garrett takes him down. That's the fifth foul. With 7.07 to go. So Toledo in foul trouble. The game tied 4-4. And Pisano will go to the right side, and Tobin will put it in play from the red line. Taps it on the right to Oscar. Oscar moves around and lost his balance. Kelly with a good defensive play on the steal. Kelly coming up the floor. Kondrich back on deep. Kelly feeds right side. Salguero shoots and scores. Good counterattack by Toledo. Hat trick goal for Salguero, and the Pride leads 5-4. Time of the goal, 8.07. Salguero, his third goal of the night. And Kelly picks up the assist. Salguero now with 37 goals on the year. And Kelly has 14 assists. And Toledo leads again, 5-4. 6.51 to go in the game. Tobin dumps it ahead for Kia. That's out of play. Knocked out by Kia, and Toledo will put it in play. Just outside their own red line on the left side at midfield. They dump it forward. Kondrich intercepts at the Invader red line. Ahead for Randy Pikasinski. Randy in a race. Centering ball for Kia, and he put it in the stage. <laughs> Boy, they had the right idea there, but Kia just got under it a little. Goal kick for Toledo. Salguero's fifth hat trick of the season. Rudy Pikasinski leads the league with seven. 6.40 left in the game. Toledo five, Canton four. Christensen dumps it back in the goal box for Stahl. Stahl outlet midfield. Salguero dumps it in the Canton zone. He goes after it with Condrich. Straight up in the air. It stays in play. And Tomo will clear it out to midfield. Headed back in by uh, Christensen, but Kondrich gets it back again. Clears for Randy Pikasinski, who dumps it back to Tomo. 6.18 left to play in regulation. Toledo leads 5-4. Kondrich right side at midfield for Tobin. Tobin dumps it ahead for Kia. Kia got inside of Armuth, but he went down on the play, and Armuth clears, and coming up the floor is Denunzio. Right side feed for Salguero. Salguero shot Swanner with a good save. And he dumps it out right back to Salguero, who shoots. It's blocked by Kondrich. And the follow by Christensen is high and wide and out of play. Oh, dear. 5.51 left to go. The Invaders will have the goal kick. And they trail by one. Toledo with five fouls. So the Invaders could get a power play here. It'd be a very important one.
think if they could, they'd like to get a goal before a power play. So they'd be using the man advantage to win instead of the time. Swanner will put it in play, taps it out to Schlotthauer. And Walter comes out, picked up by Garrett at the Canton Red Line, dishes back over on the right side to Swanner. Swanner will come out to midfield. Sends it in the air in the right corner for Pikasinski. Rudy trying to center outside for Paxos. He scores! Paxos from Pikasinski ties it up at 5-5. Mike Paxos, his fifth goal of the year. Rudy Pikasinski with the assist, his second point of the night. And here we go again. Time of the goal, 9.27. Big goal for Mike Paxos, maybe the biggest one he scored yet as an invader. And a pretty feed from Pikasinski. Toledo dumps it down, tied 5-5, Powers, ball knocked away by Paxos. Schlotthauer tries to clear, Garrett pins it up against the boards, centers for Kelly, ball knocked away by Paxos. Over the head of McGeo, he chases it down with Frick, dumps it in the goal box. Frick knocked the ball away from Stahl. But it sails out of play, and Toledo will kick it in with 5.14 to go. And we're tied 5-5. And again, that other big five up on the scoreboard under the foul column for Toledo. One more would give an invaders, the Invaders a power play that now could be the game-winning goal. Toledo dumps it out midfield. Powers can't control. Celestin ahead for Rudy. Back over to Magic, and the sixth foul is called on Toledo. Dave Mazur, the guilty party. Invaders will go on their second power play of the night. They scored on the first one. This penalty comes at the 9.52 mark of period four. So the two minute six foul call against Toledo and the Invaders power play unit going after the potential game winning goal. Kia, Rudy Pikasinski, Schlotthauer, Tobin, and Pisano for Canton. It'll be Christensen, Mazur, McGeo, and I think that is Jackson. It is Jackson for Toledo. Pisano, left side for Tobin. Back to Pisano. Out front, Rudy. Ball knocked away. Rudy took it back in the corner from Christensen. Rudy taken down by Christensen. And that'll be the seventh foul on Toledo. 4.54 in the game, and a minute 46 left in the Invader power play. Tobin to put it in play from the right corner. Well, where are they going to put it in play from now? They pick the ball up, and they'll put it in play from inside the field a little bit, outside the box. Yeah, somebody's been grabbing on. Pikasinski's jersey's torn. Schlotthauer shoots. Kick saved by Stahl. Tobin chases it down in the corner. Drops it back outside. Look at the front of Pikasinski's shirt. Somebody really had a handful of that. They ripped the collar of that shirt completely open. Pisano trying to work in. Trying to get between Mazur and Jackson. They back up a little. And Oscar moves to the right sideboards to Kia. Back outside to Pisano. Minute 20 in the penalty. 426 in the game. Pisano, left side to Tobin, back to Oscar. Oscar, Kia, Kia for Rudy, ball deflected, gets it outside. Tobin open, he shoots, he hit the post. Rebound, Pisano, shot blocked by Mazur. And Tobin chases it back at midfield, a minute three in the penalty. Oscar, inside the red line, wants Schlotthauer in the corner. Walter back to the net, trying to get position. Ball knocked away by McGeo, deflected by Rudy. And Rudy trying to get inside, but Jackson dumps it out, and Tobin controls again. 46 seconds in the penalty. Pisano right side to Kia. Kia winds, fires, that's blocked. Kia gets it back, dumps it outside to Pisano. Pisano looks left, right, back to the left to Tobin. Back to Pisano, 33 seconds. Rudy with a shot wide. Schlotthauer couldn't get to the follow. And down goes Schlotthauer and McGeo, and coming away with it is Christensen. Ball knocked away from behind by Kia, taken by Tobin. 20 seconds in the penalty, 3.28 in the game. Pisano right side to Rudy. Rudy to Tobin. Tobin 
Can't get a feed inside. Now Pekosinski around one. Feeds Pisano. He shoots wide. And with six seconds left in the penalty, Schlotthauer on the point. Now Tobin. Right side, Oscar in the corner, Kia. Kia centers. Ball knocked away from Rudy. The penalty is over. We're back to five on five as Salguero was serving the sixth foul penalty back on the floor. Invaders still on the attack under three minutes, 2.57 to go. Down in the corner for Kia. Centers outside, it's behind Rudy. And Mark Jackson comes the other way for Toledo. Rudy outruns him, knocks it away. Tobin controls at midfield, back to Condrich. 2.45 in regulation time. Celestin, left side at midfield. Magic looks in, dumps it back for Pisano. Ahead for Celestin. Celestin around Christensen. He shoots, he scores! Magic Celestin left Mark Christensen looking for which end was up. He put a move on, and Christensen could have been faked into the third row of the bleachers. Invaders lead 6-5. to five. Look for Toledo to pull the keeper. Time of the goal, 12-29. Celestin the goal, Pisano the assist. Magic is 13th goal of the year. Stahl trots over to the Toledo bench. We'll take a 30-second timeout. Canton 6, Toledo 5. unsportsmanlike conduct. 12.29 the time of the penalties. So they'll be four on four and Toledo will pull the goalkeeper and go to the sixth attacker as well. That with 2.31 left in the game stall leaves. And Mazer will come in as the sixth attacker. Now Salguero in the corner. Kelly centers through the box. Nobody home. Garrett gets it back. Ball knocked away by Randy Pikasinski, but he'll get the push. That's the first foul on the Invaders. In the corner. Comes outside. Mazer. Left side for Garrett. Garrett, ball knocked away by Schlotthauer, deflected by Randy. Back out on the point, it comes to Salguero. 2.01 left in the game, a minute 29 left in the twin penalties. Mazer. Dumps it over on the left side, and the ball knocked away by Schlotthauer again. And Mazer chases it down on the Toledo end. His ball knocked away by Flick. Mazer gets it back and clears it out to Salguero. Salguero, middle of the floor, minute 42, foul called on Canton. And Garrett pushes it ahead. Minute 39 in the game, minute eight in the two penalties. And Powers had it knocked away. Here comes Randy, sends it the length of the floor. That's going to go in. The Invaders lead 7-5. to five. Randy Pekosinski. Randy put it in from the length of the floor. And the Invaders lead 7-5. to five. Time of the goal, 13-31. Seconds left in the double penalties, minute 27 in the game. See if they give an assist on that. Don't think so. Salguero had it knocked away by Frick. Mazer dumps it in the left corner. Schlotthauer dumps that away from Garrett, way up in the seats and out of play. No assist? I don't think so. From that far away, probably wouldn't give one. Garrett will put it in play from the left corner. Minute 11 left in the game. 40 seconds left in the penalties. Mazur. 
moves in on Randy Salguero. Shots water with a point blank save. Trick had it knocked away by Salguero. Kelly in the corner. He'll pass loose and Swanner dives on it against the right side. Swanner, outlet for Frick. Frick up the left side. He's got the keeper to beat. Frick with Salguero. He shoots and scores! And the Invaders lead 8-5. to five. Time of the goal, 14.06 from Swanner. Swanner with his second assist of the night and the Invaders lead eight to five. How about this for a finish? Ball knocked up in the air by Condrich. Kelly looks for the shot, ball knocked away, power shoots, loose, and Kelly scores on the rebound. So it's eight six with 41 seconds left. Kelly gets his second goal of the night. Powers. We'll get the assist on that, and it's the lead is cut to 8-6. Time of that goal, 14-19. Eventually, this thing's going to end, but I don't know when. Invaders lead 8-6. Rudy drops it back for Schlotthauer ahead to Frick. Frick dishes over to Kondrich. 32 seconds left. The penalties have run out. They dump it down in the Toledo end, and it skips over the glass and out of play. 27 seconds left in the game. That's what separates the Invaders from what would be their 24th win of the year. And make no mistake, it's been a dogfight. And whoever draws this Toledo team in the playoffs, if they get in, is not going to have an easy chore. They have played very well tonight. The Invaders have not played poorly, and they have had a, a struggle on their hands. Salguero ahead to Mazer. Mazer had the ball knocked away by Pikasinski, and then they chase it down. 20 seconds left in the game. Salguero launches it long for Garrett. Garrett can't get it. Frick tried to dump it ahead. Denunzio got it back. Schlotthauer clears. Kia dumps it off the sideboards, and it's dumped back in with eight seconds. Garrett inside. Kia knocks it away from him. Away from Frick. Three seconds, two. Frick clears, and the game is over. The Invaders score five times in the fourth quarter to defeat the Toledo Pride 8-6 to six at the Civic Center, back to wrap it up in 60 seconds. We're off. Two saves for a total of 20. 